response to great uncertainty which EU nationals and their loved ones currently experience due to Brexit and on numerous requests of my subscribers, I've created this special Your Rights to Remain in the UK after Brexit video series, clearly explaining your immigration rights to remain in the UK and lifting this whale of uncertainty of your shoulders. Hello, my dearest friends. My name is Svetlana Shlapak. I am the creator of this free UK visa success.com channel and also a senior immigration solicitor based in London, UK. I won my first UK immigration law case at the tribunal back in 2003, which gives me over 15 years of experience in the UK immigration law field. I'm here to explain how the UK immigration system works and empower you by helping you gain control over your immigration situation and explain how you can apply information in these videos in practice. I've created a special mind map outlining how EU nationals and their family members can check if they qualify for indefinite leave to remain in the UK. Uh, this mind map is accompanied by the PDF guide clearly explaining each element of the mind map. These documents are completely free and can be used in less than 60 seconds. All you have to do is click at the link below. Okay, now let us have a look at your next question. As a general rule, family members of EU citizens can remain in the UK only uh, on this basis, or on the basis of being a family member of EU citizen. And uh, quite often, if they cease to be a family member of an EU citizen, uh, then they uh, lose their right to remain here in the UK. However, there is a category of uh, EU citizens or non-EU citizens, uh, those who were family members of EU citizens and cease to be family members can still remain in the UK despite the fact that they cease to be family members uh, of EU citizens and uh, they are legally known as family members who have retained their right of residence uh, in the uh, UK. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that I will be providing these analysis on the basis of the newly drafted Appendix EU uh, which uh, uh, came into force on 29th of March 2019. So there are four categories uh, of family members who can claim that they have retained uh, their right of residence in the UK despite the fact that they stopped, they ceased being a family member of an EU citizen. So the first one is uh, when we have an, a non-EU citizen applicant uh, who was a family member of the relevant EU citizen and that relevant EU citizen died. And in order for them to qualify and to prove that they still have a right to continue residing in the UK, all they have to do, they have uh, to be uh, uh, residing, they have to prove that they were residing in the UK as a family member of the relevant EU citizen for at least one year immediately before the death of that relevant EU citizen. So this is our first category. And the second category is uh, for the children of uh, the relevant EU citizen where that relevant EU citizen either died or left the UK and the child was in uh, education immediately before the relevant uh, either died or left the UK and they continue attending their studies and this particular category is known as the child in education. The next category is for the parent of the child in education. So this is if they have a custody of the child and they have a child who is in education then they have a right to continue residing here and they can claim that they have retained their right of residence. And the last category is uh, for non-EU citizens where there was a breakdown of marriage. And there are a few categories and let me explain what these are. So the first requirement to satisfy is uh, that the couple divorced. So it has to be uh, a decree absolute. Secondly, that they were residing in the UK at the date of termination. And thirdly, 
one of the following applies. The first one is when they have been in uh, in uh, the same marriage uh, uh, together for at least three years and one of these years they have been residing here in the UK. Uh, well, if this one is not satisfied, uh, it is still possible uh, to claim that you have retained the right of residence if you can prove that you have the actual custody of the child of the relevant EU citizen or a qualifying a British citizen uh, when you're following the Saranda Singh route. And number three, the third category is when we have a parent with the right of access to the child and the child is under the age of 18 and the court has ordered for such access to take place here in the UK. And the last one, the last route is for the victims of domestic violence. So if uh, any of the circumstances which I've just described uh, apply to you, you can make an application uh, for a presetal status if you have less than five, residence, five years of residence here in the UK. If you have more than five years of residence, you can make an application for a settled status as a person with a retained right of residence. And just to remind you once again that a free mind map together with the PDF guide are available for you to download. These documents give you a bird's eye view of how EU citizens and their family members can remain and settle in the UK after Brexit. These documents are completely free and you can download them by clicking the link below this video. Have a great day everyone.